And the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. We live in a world of pain, of trouble, of sorrow, of fear, of depression and death. So in the midst of all these things that are happening, how can we get to experience this peace that is beyond our need? to understand why these things are happening. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. And if this is your first time watching, my name is Uwem Apan. It is a pleasure having you watch this video. In today's video, I am speaking on the peace that passes all understanding. It is only in one place that we can find a peace that excels in comparison to what we could understand peace to mean. Because everybody in life wants to have peace in their life. A married man in his home wants to have peace, same with the woman in that same home. The children in a home wants to experience peace. And then peace to us could mean so many different things. Naturally, we could see peace to mean that calmness, quietness, silence, peace of mind. Of course, peace is seen as the freedom from disturbance, freedom from fears, freedom from pain, freedom from hearts. But then in our world, we seldom have this freedom expressed. We could see peace to mean the calm environment, the serene place that we go out to sit. Someone going to the beach could be, this is what gives me ease from the stress and the strain of life, which is a good thing. But then it does not mean that if you go out to these external places to be eased, that your brain and your mind is eased from the troubles that are looming and are staring up in it. The peace that God wants to give you is a peace that is a promise that will stabilize your mind in him. I want to divide this video into three parts. The first part is, how can you experience the peace of God? One, it takes you to have peace with God, to get to a place of experiencing the peace of God. You cannot be in a place that you don't have peace with God and then you want to experience the peace of God. It's actually not possible. The peace of God comes through his spirit that he has bequeathed or given to us as believers. God's spirit is the medium through which the peace of God is expressed in the life of a believer. And if you do not have peace with God, you cannot operate with God's spirit because it takes you to operate in God's spirit to be a true son or daughter of God. And the sad reality is we have a lot of people who call themselves children of God who do not have peace with God. And somehow being a child of God who do not have peace with God, you feel like you legitimately severe that peace because of your bad character, because of your disobedience to God's will and his way. So at this point, you are not even trying to build a bridge to have peace with God. You are trying to run away from him because you feel like you do not deserve him. But it is because of you that Jesus died. It's because of you that he was crucified. It's because of you that he rose from the dead. And the Bible says, therefore, since we have been justified by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ. Our justification is not based on our works. It is a justification by faith, which is us believing in what Jesus had done on the cross at Calvary. Paul said, the life that I live in the flesh is by faith in the Son of God, who died for me and gave himself for me. So it is the justification by faith that brings us to a place of experiencing peace with God. And by the time we experience peace with God, we are open to receive the peace of God. You cannot receive the peace of God when you don't experience peace with him. Number two, you will experience the peace of God when you let not your heart be troubled nor afraid. When trouble looms in your heart, your focus is changed. And he's saying, do not allow your heart to be troubled. Just like Paul said in Philippians, instead of anxious thoughts, instead of anxiety, pray. So instead of you getting to a place of being anxious and wallowing in that pit of anxiety, Start praying to God, trust God, worship God, dig deep in the word of God, get to know more of Christ. God cannot let not your heart be troubled for you. That is your own choice and determination and decision. It takes you to let not your heart be troubled. It takes you to direct your focus on what it should go to. Which means God doesn't want you to do this alone, which is the beautiful part. He wants you to partner with him by faith so that he will help you not let your heart be troubled. Neither should you become someone that is timid, which is allowing your heart to be afraid 
Because the Bible says that God will not give us the spirit of fear, but of power, of love, and of sound mind. And he didn't call you to become his son such that you still dwell in fear. If you know you have peace with him, the fear should be gone. Because that fear should have been the fear of punishment. But the Bible says perfect love casts out fear. By the time you know God loves you truly and you've received his love, you've been justified by faith. You should not let your heart be troubled because all your troubles should come to a place of bowing before the name of Jesus. And Jesus said, peace I live with you. My own peace I give to you. This is beautiful. Peace I live with you. My peace I give to you. Not as the world gives do I give to you. Let not your hearts be troubled, neither let it be afraid. You don't have to let your heart be fearful and anxious and timid. And the way to do that is by changing your focus. Because every time you get troubled and the trouble starts staring in your heart, the thought of the things that you don't have and the things that you're wishing to do are staring in your heart. When those troubles stays up, your focus is on you. Your focus is on your ability. Your focus is fully on you. You are leaning on your own understanding. And that is where God is calling you not to be in. Because you are trying to be your own savior. But God says he gave you Christ as your savior. Your personal Lord and savior. So why do you try to save yourself when you are a savior? And all you need to do is to fix your eyes on your savior. The author and the finisher of your own faith. As scripture says, you will keep him in perfect peace whose mind is stayed on you because he trusts in you. By the time you change your focus from allowing these things that are happening around you to control you to allowing yourself to be fixated on Christ. That changes everything. That brings you to the place of experiencing the peace of God. I hope and believe that this video has been of value to you. If it has, hit the like button, give it a thumbs up, and do not forget to subscribe to this channel. It will go a long way to help this channel grow and help me keep doing this. Of course, I need the motivation to keep doing this. So thank you for subscribing. If you have not yet subscribed, I hope you do that. And do not forget to share this video to other people who may need to see this.